Hello and welcome back to the Super Heavyweight YouTube channel and what we'll do is we'll continue with this uh, episode and series of trying to A, identify a fantastic uh, players that you could possibly purchase on your Mars League to try and help you A, improve but B, maybe sign players who are uh, who have very high overall ratings, um, are young um, or are proven or are very cheap. Um, in order to help you get started on your Master League journey. So that's what the whole purpose of this series was. So I chose Arsenal because I thought um, if you look at their, um, if I just go to the game plan for example, very good first level, but you've got lots of 77 players or players within the 70 uh, bracket that you could possibly go out and sell. And a couple of these players are quite old as well. And you might just want to have a fresh change. So what I thought was we'll put everyone on the transfer list. Uh, I'll just make sure that it's daily and let's go and start signing some players. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look to sign uh, the left back Fabra. So uh, let's just go into our listed players. So we'll start with the left back who at... Th um, so let's go with the left back if I can just find him f uh, for that matter. So the left back was Fabra, 81 at 29. So I reckon he could give us a good three years. So let's check him out. Uh, we we'll pay the release fee. Uh, we'll put him on a three-year contract. Uh, he isn't convinced with his role. So let's give him a 62,000. And let's see what we get with that. So he'll be the first one that we look to sign uh, in this particular journey. Of course, the striker that I'm going to go for is... Let's just go to the release fee because that sort of helps me make my decision. And I'm going to look to go for Jovic just because he's 23 years old at 81. So I'll look to sign. Actually, I'm going to go for Diego Costa for now as the first choice. Should I go Jovic? Uh, I'll go Diego Costa because, as I said, in the short term, um, we'll go with him. So we'll go with Diego Costa. Um, so we paid the full release fee. Let's give him a two-year contract. He's not convinced. So uh, let's go to 72 just for now. Uh, because we are going to sell players. And I then want to go on to the free transfer. So I'm going to go to contract ends. And, and you can see a couple of uh, plays in there. So actually, let me look for is he a left midfielder, I believe. Justin Clivert, so I'm going to go for Clivert. Uh, of course, we have got Saka. He has a good impression. Let's just give him a three-year contract at that for now. And then, of course, uh, we can do that. So we've got Saka. I'm going to do Gwenduzi just because he's on a free transfer as well. Um, I wanted to get Harrit as well. So there's lots of players that you want to try and sign. Um, of course, Lamar's in there as well. So there's a lot of players. We've got Sessignon on a free transfer as well. So there's lots of players that you could possibly sign. And he's a very good player. Do check out the Mars League. But I'm actually looking for... Um, I forgot. Oh, Gwen Doozy. So I'm just going to look for where Gwen Doozy is. Uh, where is he? So I think he'll be slightly higher up. So Gwen Doozy, where will I find him? Okay. I'm sure he's a centre midfielder. So let me just look for Gwen Doozy. Just because he's a free transfer. There he is. And he will actually bring in some much-needed funds. He's got a good impression. And again, we'll just go with that for now. Don't worry too much about the release fees, etc. Um, I wanted to also get in the defensive midfielder. So, uh, to be honest, I'm sure I've missed out on a lot of players that I said I was going to go for. Um, Barrios, of course. I want to try and get in um, Idrissa Garnagay. Um, but let's go for this defensive midfielder option. Um, so we'll pay the release fee. Oh, he doesn't have a release fee. So let's just go for 20 million just for now. Just what Lerma was available. Uh, let's just give him 73,000. As I said, um, he is a very good player. And let's just see what we come back with. So what we'll do is uh, we won't play any matches. Of course, Pae was one that I wanted to get as well. But we'll go with maybe some of the more cheaper options for now in terms of what's available to us. There's lots of players that we could possibly... Uh, look to purchase so um, Harrit would be the attacking midfielder possibly just in terms of the long term that we would do so um, 
I'm just going to go into manager's office. I'm not going to really change anything. This just goes through everything. So uh, we do need to get some of the centre backs in as well. So of course that's something we need to try and explore. But I thought we'll just start off with this. Will we have enough time? I'm not going to play any of these matches. So I'm just going to move straight on. Um, we do have a very good team. Uh, I will skip this part uh, about giving young players a chance. But we'll skip this part. Diego's not too amused. Um, we'll just skip the match. I wouldn't be surprised if we end up winning the competition, to be honest. 3-0 uh, um, victory. Be happy with that. Um, hopefully we can get a good result in the next match, which may help us to try and improve this. We'll hopefully see... I've done it on a daily basis. So it's just to show you that um, uh, hopefully we can maybe get some of those players... Uh, part, I mean, as I said, there's lots of good players. I mean, I don't really want to sell party or anyone, but it's just a case of maybe getting people out. Because sometimes you just want to put your own team together. Uh, completely understand that. Uh, I would prefer to have um, some of these players. Let's have a look at what we've got. So Fabra's accepted. Diego Costa's declined. Fair enough. Clivert's accepted. Guendizi's accepted, but the. Um, the uh, what's it called? Um, the contract has been slightly um, changed in terms of he's asking for better terms. Not from Barrios has declined, so we went in with 20 million. We'll probably have to go back in, but what I'll do is I'll just accept some of these options now quickly, and then we can go back and try and sort it out. So um, that's something we'll have to do. Maybe what's more salary, I don't know uh, what we offered, but Cliver, I think, is a good signing. We'll take him. Uh, I'll go with Gwen Doozy. We'll take him. And we'll take Fabra as well. So, uh, Fabra. Alright, we couldn't do that because we our salary budget's gone over. But, what we'll do is, we'll then go back in for him. So, what we'll do is, uh, if I just forward the time. We've got some of these players that have come in. As I said, we've got lots and lots of possible players that we could possibly purchase. So, um, we just have to try our best. So, we've got a, a player in there. Let's just see who's there. So, Gwen uh if you're starting your Master League, would be one that I'd probably get you to sign. Um, I'd probably also just sign Ryan Session just because he's on a free. Um, we'll get him in, in there as well. And maybe we've got players... Or other teams that have come in, no, not quite. So, um, they'll start training. Um, let's go back into negotiations. So, we've got a lot of players that we can possibly sign. Um, just try and think here. I'm gonna go with Jovic now. So, look to sign Jovic again, just meet his release fee. He's not convinced about his role. So, again, let's just put him up to 64. Of course, we expect to sell a lot of players. Um, I think he'd be a good sign-in. Uh, Barbosa would be one. I'm just trying to think, would the Sanchez be a good sign? I think he'd be a player that I'd love to have. I think he's a fantastic player. Can play all across the front, so we'll have a look at that. Um, obviously, I need to bring in some centre-backs, so I'm just quickly having a quick look. Um, Douglas Costa was one that I wanted to bring. Of course, for now, I think he's just gone to Douglas uh, by me, or he's on loan. Hence the reason why we can't seem to purchase him. Bernadeschi would be one that I'd purchase. So let's go to Bernadeschi, play, um, pay his release fee, get him on a bit of a big contract. Uh, I always go up by two. We just stick to that for now. Uh, Lerma's one that I want to go back with. Uh, he's a player that I've decided I want to sign. I like Paye. Um, and I'm just trying to see who else have I got down as a left wing forward. I've already signed Clivert. Of course, you had players like Bailey and stuff. But I'm going to go with Paye just for now. Um, actually, let me come back to Paye because I think I'm going to go towards Idrissa Ghana Gay. Is one that I definitely want to get. Uh, I'll probably come back to Chalinogalu. Uh, once I sell a few players, or Harrit possibly. And let's just go for Harrit. I'll just let me have a quick look at the release fee. Who could we possibly pick up here? I'm gonna go for Harrit. 
for now. You could get the Chaj. Um, I obviously want to get Chal and Ugly just because I'm a big fan of his. So, you know, sometimes when you're playing. So, we'll have the cheaper option in Harrit. We'll go for him. So, let's put uh, a good young team together. Uh, again, let's just see what they come back with. Um, so, Harrit and... Drissa Garner Gay was one that I wanted against 16 million. Uh, I think he could be a really good option. Uh, he'd welcome a move, so three year contract. Uh, so 64. He's happy to come already, so we can take him. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't get to the centre backs again, but uh, we'll stick with that for now. Um, I'm just trying to have a look at who else. Lamar's another one that I would like to look to purchase. Um, and the right back, the right back I was uh, very interested with. So what we'll do is we'll just continue. Uh, a lot of the new signings have come in, but I'm just going to stick to the same team that we have. Uh, we've lost 4-2, which is a shame. Atletico are a very good side. Um, but it's all to play for because they've got to go to Benfica and get a result. We've got to go to Milan and get a result. So um, we'll see what happens. Um, negotiation day. I'm hoping we can sell some of our players. We haven't actually managed to sell anyone as of this moment. So um, if we can't do that, then that messes up the whole strategy that I was trying to um, put together. But we'll see what happens. Um, still a long way to go. Hence the reason why I've done it on a daily basis. And what we can do is, I suppose, for now, the players that we've just purchased. Um, I thought I did... Purchase Fabra. Have I purchased Fabra? Let's have a look. Uh, I don't even think I've purchased Fabra. One of them. Whoops. A uh, bit of a rookie mistake there. I thought. I'd... Oh no. I... Oh, I couldn't actually get him. Sorry. Yeah, I couldn't get Fabra because we'd go over our budget. Sorry. I was trying to think where he was. So if I just go back into gameplay, uh, just bring on some of these players. As I said, very good player. So Cliver. If I put him on there just for now and move him there, uh, his father Patrick Cliver was uh, famous for being part of that IX team that won the Champions League or the European Cup at that moment in time. What a team! If you do get a chance, do read about that IX team. A uh, fantastic set of players, and I'll just bring in Gwen Doozy. I'll just put him in there. Of course, he could possibly be a centre midfielder. Um, but my point being is we've got this player on a free, we've got uh, Clive on a free and Gwendouzi on a free. That's already two really good players. Um, so very happy with that. Uh, I think his stats will improve. Um, just want to check my team quickly. Just to see uh, where we are. Sorry. He's more of a left wing forward that I'll probably put forward. I was trying to think why his stats were so low. But he's actually 78. Let's just have a look if anybody's come in for any of these teams. So there are a few play people interested. But no one's actually come forward for a bid. Which is uh, th something we need. And uh, we need it very quick so we can start. Uh, probably start looking at um, uh, some other options that we have. So probably start looking at the keepers. Uh, the right back definitely want to try and uh, sign um, Bustos. Uh, quite happy with him. Some have obviously broken down as well. So Jovic declined, Bernadeschi's accepted, Harris declined, uh, Gay's accepted. So we've got some really good players we can possibly have. Of course, we can't do anything as of yet. <coughs> Sorry, apologies about that. So Harris has declined. Gaze accepted. Uh, of course, we're going to need to move some players on. Jovic hasn't. So we'll have to look at uh, maybe offering him slightly more money. But again, a good player. Uh, Harriet again, very young. So 23 and 23. So they'll be there for the long haul. Gaze a bit of a short-term option at 31. But as I said, his stamina, defensive awareness. Look at those stats. Fabra again has some really good stats. Um, and for 3 million would be a steal. And of course you'll probably see that should we start selling players um, I'm just going to skip the match again uh, should we start selling some players and I think we've won the competition <laughs> so that's uh, 
no pressure now considering that I'm looking to sell everybody and anybody um, so that's something we'll have to do but we need to start selling quickly um, I will probably play the FA Cup match so I want to start bringing in some players quickly all right okay so that's just still the same so we need to sell players very quick I mean I'm not gonna negotiate here I'm just gonna accept whatever offer comes forward uh, just because I think it's a case of us being able to um, just start bringing in some of our players so Leipzig will come in for him so what we'll do we'll just accept it straight away uh, no messing about as I said because the purpose isn't about making money it's just about selling players so we'll just sell him there you go and that brings in some money salary budget of 116 so what we can now do is go into our other teams and have a look at who we've got so I'm gonna look to sign um, Gay because he was a player that I wanted so we've got Idris Ghana Gay that leaves us with 51 million between Bernadeschi and Fabra so I'll probably go Fabra and then Bernadeschi again um, and of course I want to go back into my listed players because what I want to do is go back in for the striker uh, actually what I'll do is um, I'll probably go for the centre backs let me do the centre backs and the goalkeeper so I just want to have a quick look at the goalkeepers so Mary uh, 84 um, we could possibly sign but I'm going to go for the cheaper option in terms of Lafont. oh we can't sign him I think he may be on loan or he's just gone so I'm just trying to think who we could possibly get 190 I think I'll go with Nubo just try and think 88 uh, bigger go could be the next Manuel Neuer offensive goalkeeper so I'm gonna go with Nubel at 79 for now as my long-term goalkeeper uh, I'm just gonna quickly check something so he's 7.2 Ruli is actually 82 He's 189 as well. So he could be one that we possibly look to purchase. I don't really know much about him. Sillison uh, has a more experienced option at 83. Along with Nubel might be better. Uh, Volpe's at 80. Ruli's at 82. We say 5 million. Um... So this is where we've got to be very careful. I think instead he's 32, he's 31. So I'll go Jan Summer just as my short-term option. But before I do, I'm just going to sign Nubel. So I've decided, I mean, I could go for Ruli. Probably would be the better option at 82. But I've decided that I want to go for Jan Summer as the short-term option for one season. And then I will go with Nubel as my young keeper so I'm gonna go straight to Nubel because I can always go back to Jan Summer afterwards so we have played the release fee we can have him for a five-year contract uh, let's give him 48 and let's see if he's interested with that and center back we need to get a center back in here so who will I go for let me just go straight to the top uh, actually I'm gonna choose a right back I'm gonna go for the right back first um, which was Bustes, 24 years old at 79, uh, 85 speed, stamina. So I just wanted to try signing him. He's a player that I've never signed before. Has a good impression. So we pay the full release fee. He's got a good impression. And we'll take, look, his release fee at the moment is 4.5 million, but we can always change that. As I said, he's a player I just want to try out. Maybe that's someone that you haven't signed before as well. And we can have a go. But there's lots of players that you could possibly um, look to get. I mean, it could be the Dumfries could be our next one. So I just hope that we sell some players before we move on. Uh, so we'll do this. I'll probably play the FA Cup match. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to start just releasing players. <laughs> Which I don't really want to do. But I think there's enough money in the bank. Just because the players that we're actually looking to sign are... Um, cheap uh, the salary budget might be quite high but um, we'll 
we'll probably need to get someone like Aubameyang off the books. But Idrissa Garner Gay, the former Everton man at PSG, I think he would be a fantastic addition. I can just see him. I could, I mean, if I keep party, I might even keep party because I'm a big fan. And of course, I'm trying to get Barrios. So we'll have to go back in there. I think he'd be a really good signing as well. Those three. Musa Sissoko was another one. But Harrit was the main one that I wanted for now as the attacking midfielder. So we'll have a look. Um, Bernadeschi we've managed to get. Douglas Costa, unfortunately, we couldn't get. So that would be something that we'd have to possibly explore. But let's just hope that a number of players... I mean, we just can't seem to say anyone. Does anyone not want to buy Arsenal players? I don't know. So we just go back into the game plan. And this time we can bring in Gay. Um, stick him on for, say, someone like Nelson. And for now what we'll do is we'll put him as a centre midfielder. Of course, as we sell more and more players, um, they will end up uh, being in a position. But, um, I mean, I could go with the two new signings there possibly. Um, but of course, um, for now, I just want to keep Party as the midfielder. Actually, probably swap him around. Um, actually, no, just leave him there. So he's right footed and he's right footed. Maybe get Harrit in there. You've got Clivert. Bring in Bernadeschi. Get Jovic up front. So that'll be a new team that we've got. We're looking at the right back, the left back. Um, and the goalkeeper. So just to show you that you can put together some really, really good players. Uh, again, negotiations. Let's just see what's going on. So we've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to go back in for a centre back now. Just so that uh, um, we've got pretty much every position covered centre midfielder we, we've actually gone in there so let's just go into the centre back positions we've got our right back and left back so very happy with that uh, of course I did want to sign Klosterman as a big one but let's go for the cheaper option let's look at who we've got so Kier, uh, we, we need experience as well so we don't want to go straight into we've got Rodrigo Cal we could possibly have Musaccio so there are some really really good options uh, for now, though, I'm going to look to sign either Sane or Kier. Or both. Uh, we could go with Boateng. So we've got a very experienced defender. Um, or we could break the bank and go in for a 35 million player. But for now, I just wanted to go for the cheaper option. I'm going to go Sane. Just to give me that physicality. Uh, and of course, I am a big fan of his. So. Again, this offer him 62,000. Let's see whether he'd be happy with that. So that would be a whole new back four. Uh, some players coming in that we're trying to sign. So let's just see what happens. Um, of course, for this to work, I'm hoping we can sell a lot of players. And of course, as I said, I may not even play many of the matches. Uh, depends on how many players I'm able to bring in. But um, uh, Socrates, Napoli, let's just sell him off. Uh, straight away we're not going to mess about as i said it's not about it's just a, a an idea that i had of course um the whole <laughs> i want to buy late in orient one day um so what we'll do is we will um put that in. we go to 105,000. so maybe we can now bring in some players from other teams so let's see who we got uh bustos is still negotiating uh so we've got bernadeschi and we've got Fabra. I'm just going to go in for Fabra because uh, he was one of the cheaper players that we had. So we'll just stick him in there. Uh, and he'll come in as the left back. Of course, Saka. Um, you wouldn't sell Saka. I mean, what a player he is. Uh, I have to say, very, very impressed with Saka. Um, we'll probably just play the FA Cup match. Uh, just to see how this goes. Managers. Nubles accepted. Bustos is accepted. Kenny, Cedric, Al Nenny, my boy, uh, Mohammed Al Nenny, big fan of his. But we'll sell these and we can bring in some more players. So let's just go straight in there from my team. Just sell them. Of course, sad to see some of these players. I mean, Turney is a fantastic talent. You wouldn't sell him. Uh, but of course, we're not really too worried about. Um, getting close. It's just a case of just showing people that um, I even look Cedric 
77 is actually a really good player. Uh, so he could be a right back. Of course, he I didn't. Um, I, he wouldn't have come on my radar because I went for 78. But my point being is, when you go from 72 to 76, you will actually find some really good players. And then he again going to Leeds, I think he'll be a, a great addition. Of course, um, we need to get rid of Aubameyang because his salary is 256. So that's four players. 6, 12, 18, 24. Yeah, you'll get about four players in there. So, of course, we've done that. And then what I will do is... Um, Bustos... Again, uh, a good player that we've got. The keepers come in at 79. Uh, just want to check something. So, I think I can go Bernadeschi and Bustos. I'm just going to put Bustos in there straight away because I think um, he's a right back that I'm very interested in getting. And I just want to check one thing with my team. So, if I go down to the goalkeepers, Runnison is 72. Uh, his market value is 1.8. I don't know if anyone's going to come in and look to bid for him but um, not many players are being sold but um, as I was saying um, we've now got a goalkeeper at 79 who will do a really good job and I expect him to only improve so we go in with Nubal uh, Sane coming in and I'll just accept Bernadeschi uh, even though we've got William etc and so forth just to show you that uh, I've put together a really good team um, who were quite cheap as well um, and who can potentially go on to do really well so um, they wouldn't have much time to get their chemistry right but uh, would be happy Sane's coming he Lacazette is going so let's just sell Lacazette and again Lacazette if I just remember uh, again, his release... Oh, he doesn't have a release fee. So, Man City won him. Again, 84. You wouldn't sell him. But just for the purpose of trying to show um, what we can do. Bernadeschi's coming. So, um, other team, what's happened here is Sane has rejected. So, he had doubts over his appearance. Okay, fair enough. I'm going to go back into uh, here and... Jovic. Actually, let me just check who I'm going after. Um, we do need to get a centre-back in. Asman, Jovic, Gabriel Barbosa at 24. Would be a really good signing as well. For now, though, uh, I wanted to get in Diego Costa. I'm going to go Jovic again. Uh, let's just get Jovic in there. So, we... I can't remember what we bidded last time. We bid 64. Let's just offer him 75. Uh, just because um, he is a really good striker. And of course we've got rid of one. Um, so we've got rid of a 20, 30 year old for a 23 year old. Of course the overall rating is about 3 higher. Um, and again I'm just going through. So just checking this out. Um. Who we could possibly bring in that I might have missed out. Uh, Pae was one that I wanted. But for now we'll sort that out later. Um, was there a player in there? Clive that we've got. Chalinoglu I want as my attacking midfielder. Harrit again I'm going to go back in for him. So we pay the release fee. So we went in with 60. We'll go in with 60. Let's go in with 70 again. So let's just put him in there. Just because he looks to be a very good player. And because I've already got him at, at um, Fulham. I know his uh, stats go very, very high. And Lamar's one that I wanted. Um, again, I think he's quite cheap for 15 million at 82. And he's only 25. And was that and was part of that famous Monaco team. Sessegnon, I'm just going to put a bid in for him. Because he's a free transfer. And he's one you could sell off later. Um... 20 years old, you can't go wrong at 20,000. Um, and he could be another left back, possibly. Uh, we need to get in the defensive midfielder, is the one that I wanted, though. Um, Barrios. So we offered the release fee. Uh, I think I'm just going to go in for 23. That's all we can offer. A five year contract. Let's give him. Let's give him 85. 
Let's just keep him happy. Uh, and let's see what we do. So we can't go any more than 23 million. That's 10 million more than we wanted to pay. And I think we can't sign anybody else. No, that's it. And then the rest will be the centre-backs. So I'll just quickly go back to my team. Just make sure I've accepted offers for everybody. So a lot of wheeling and dealing. Um, you might be calling me Harry Redknapp soon. <laughs> but um, the point being is just going back into game plan. Of course, um, Bernadeschi. Uh, let's just take off, say, someone like Enketia. So he can go in there. Um, and if I just move them up, one, two, three, four. And if I move them up, one, two, three, four. Of course, Ozil's still there. And I'd say that's a really good team. Um, let's just take the goalkeeper off for Saka and then let's go to the bottom. Uh, Busters can come on as well. So, new players in there, but still uh, very good. I know Bellerin uh, has been there, but you could say Arsenal need an overhaul. We've got a keeper in as well. Um, so, if I just say uh, we're going to take off, say, Maitland-Niles. Now, we've got a keeper in there. We've got Saka as well that we could possibly end up keeping. If I bring Saka in, automatically we go to 91 instead of Clivert. So, um, I just want to see if... Bernadeschi can play down there. Uh, not quite. Can Clivert... Can Clivert play as a left-back? Oops. Sorry, I'm just uh, checking a few things. Can Clivert play as a left-back? Nope. So, that doesn't work out. But, we've actually brought in one... So, pretty much apart from four players... Five players, sorry. Six have just come in as newbies. Um, I mean, I could bring the keeper in now. Wouldn't be an issue. But, of course, um, that might be a bit of a... Slight uh, risk for now. Um, and I'll just leave Saka in there. <coughs> or if we do play the... Um, um, or if I just go in with uh, Gwenduzi instead of Party. Uh, but of course I have to be mindful of the chemistry as well. Don't want to start getting rid of everybody. And if I bring in Saliba, again another young player... Um, that would possibly come in and bring the the the, the actual team down. But I'll stick with uh, Magalhães for now. And again, Magalhães is only 23 years old, so probably wouldn't look the same. So let's just have a quick look at the manager's office. So departures today, as agreed. So there's quite a few. So a lot of wheeling and dealing. Let's just get on with it. Let's just hope to get that one game in there. Um, if not, companies coming in as well. So what we'll do, we'll end the episode after playing this um, game. And it'll give me a chance to see what they're like. So Willock, Nelson, Chambers, Kolasinac. So let's just get rid of all of them right now. Uh, so let's just accept that. So Nelson, we'll just accept. So we're just selling anybody and everyone that we can. I'm sure there's some really good players here. Normally look, Willock's got a release fee of 14 million. But just because of what I'm trying to achieve. Otherwise, the whole episode... And again, look, Chambers would be one that I wouldn't sell. Because he's 25 years old. He's a versatile player. Uh, he can play centre-back, right-back, or a defensive midfielder. Uh, and he's actually very good. I mean, he's 182 but, uh, in terms of height. But we'll sell him as well. And Kolasinac will sell as well. So, again, as you can see, there's some good money coming into the club so that we've got 213,000 with 153 million um, Manchester United coming in for uh, uh, Aubameyang so let's just so a few of the players have sh people showing interest but so far uh, as we've said we haven't been able to get anyone in we'll have a look at our other teams so we've put a bid in with quite a lot of players. Um, Sabias is on loan. Uh, so if we can get Jovic, Harrit and Barrios into the side. Uh, 27 years old. You've got Sessegnon at 20, Harrit at 23 and Jovic at 23. Um, I think that'll pretty much be the team. And then we just go focus on the centre-backs. And maybe I'll bring in Klosterman. Just quickly go back just to check how many I've put in. So I've got one more 
and I'm actually going to sign and look to buy Klosterman. I should actually go for Kier, but I'm just going to go Klosterman. And of course, I was planning to go for Jan Summer as well. So he'd be the short-term option. Uh, it's all happening so fast, especially when you're doing it live. <laughs> and maybe going company, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but as I can, I mean, I do deserve one. I mean, I'll probably look at someone like Christensen. But again, for now, you're looking at... 24 to 31, yes, I do appreciate that. Or you could go in Boateng. But I'm going to go Klosterman for his release fee, just because I have the money. Um, he has a good impression as well, so let's just sign that, just while I have the money, um, and let's get him in um, as a centre-back. Um, and then see where we go with that. So I, think, I don't think we can actually have any more. I think we've got the one two three four five so let's just see what happens i do want to play the match against um in the fa charity shield so just to get things started um arsenal versus liverpool we are playing in the difficulty mode of superstar so um let me just quickly show you just whoops wrong one We've got a few mass leagues there but uh, if I go into general settings, we are playing on the difficulty mode of Superstar, as you can see. So it's not going to be easy, but I am very confident that we would be able to uh, do really well. Scouts, let's just see who the scouts have put together. Um, of course, these first few episodes I appreciate might not be the most exciting. But Fabinho, Visca, and Saul, let's just have a look. Saul, I think, for played for Atletico Madrid. Visca. Uh, oh, Visca is one that we actually didn't have. Uh, it shows that his market value is 11 million. Plays for Istanbul Basic Sire, uh, the Turkish team. And uh, he's 30. And look, 88, 90. I mean, that would be a great signing as well uh, if I was to sign him. So, of course, we can't. But here's a few that you possibly could look at. Visca would be one. Uh, Saul, <laughs> you're not getting Saul, so box to box. Uh, and for me, obviously, Liverpool wouldn't sell him either. Uh, 54, 63. Well, Visca might be one that you could all have a look at. So, for those who do watch these episodes that we put on, um, we'll just have to wait and uh, let's go straight into next match. I'll just quickly go to the game plan um, just to make sure. So, Bellerin. Runners and Jacker. Uh, I, I think I'll bring on Saliba as possibly for holding. Do I play Nubal? Um, and take a bit of a. Um, I could play Saka. And I'll play Saka because at the end of the day, we are still looking to win. Gwenduzi, Willian. Uh, Pepe can come off for Willian. Um. And the rest I'm just going to leave. I mean, I like Jacker actually, so I'm going to bring Jacker in for uh, Mustafi's a, a good player as well. I'll probably bring Jacker on for. Uh, just bring him on for Mustafi for now. Or Saliba. I want to give Saliba his debut actually. Let's take him off Sobias. Um, We'll just have it because we've got Gwen Doozy. Uh, so that'll be the team. Clivert can make his debut. Maybe the keeper can make his debut. And we'll bring on Gwen Doozy and maybe Pepe. Of course, normally I'd probably go with Pepe over Bernadeschi. But um, two young players. I mean, Pepe is actually younger than Bernadeschi. So, of course, as I said, you know, you won't actually end up signing them. Uh, just happy with the centre backs. I mean, Bellerin. But I'm going to give Bustos the nod. And Fabra the nod. Uh, I just couldn't leave Saka out while he was at the club because uh, I'm a big, big fan of his. Uh, free, long free kick taker, short free kick taker, Bernadeschi. Free kick taker to Ozil. Left corner kick, Ozil. Penalty taker um, would be... Um, or Bamiang. So let's go. I think that's a pretty good team that we've got. And let's see what we can put together. I uh, just want to just check one thing. Uh, I've made Idrissa Ghana gay as the defensive midfielder when it should be party. So, look, we've got one, two, three, four new players, um, possibly five 
six that we could possibly bring on so we are going in the right direction we'll end the episode after this match do let me know what you think in the comment section with regards to this uh, series whether you think it's actually very helpful uh, do let me know it'd be good to know um, as I said uh, this transfer situation is one of the best things about this whole mask league and that's why we always play it whether you're doing FIFA or PES I just stick to PES because it's a game that I've always played um, so Van Dijk is that Edison at Liverpool? no way but uh, uh, Trent Alexander Arnold but we've got Aubameyang I mean we're hoping to sell Aubameyang because he will bring in much needed funds so we, of course you, you'd be stupid to sell Pierre or Aubameyang in fact I was trying to encourage Manchester City to purchase him when he was on a free transfer um, because I think he would have been a really good striker to supplement and complement uh, Aguero and Jesus. Jesus has only just turned 24. Uh, so I, I think it's, I, I think I've been a bit harsh on him as well because I didn't realise he was that young. Um, and so he is a really good player. His off the ball movement does create a lot of space there for the other players which allows them to put together um, his team. But what we'll do is look at that. The players are ready. We'll probably end it here. Um, the FA uh, Charity Charity Shield. I forgot what it's called now. The Charity Shield, that's it. Mane, Salah and Firmino and Thiago. What a set of players. It does a kind of game to make his debut. Uh, you'll probably see a lot of box to box running with a player with a lot of stamina so a lot of pressure on him because he's coming and we're we're looking to sell a significant number of players from our current squad and a significant number have already been sold and we're currently in the process of course I need to get the goalkeeper right um, otherwise Lina would have to be the number one but Nubel would be a, a, a good understudy and then by next season I think he'll He'll be the number one. I do apologize about that. David Luiz in there. And the reason I like David Luiz, uh, as you'll probably see should uh, we perform well, is his passing range is um, phenomenal. Um, his long passing and uh, does get me really excited. Uh, I always like a ball playing centre-back. And I'm interested to see how the young uh, Bustos gets on. So Garner Gay over to Alexander-Arnold. I mean, I still couldn't believe he got dropped for England. That's like dropping Messi. We're on this. We go. We just play in uh, Aubameyang. Of course, Van Dijk. What a player. I mean, I feel so bad for him that he had that injury. Uh, oops. Already. But this is Bustos. I mean, a young player. Obviously, they are going to take a while to get through. There's a first raking pass there from um, uh, David Luiz, sorry I'm just I uh, <laughs> don't know where I'm at the moment just uh, a bit worried because we could have potentially already conceded or oh, Bamian, can he get that, I mean Van Dijk's had him in his pocket so far, so just got to be careful of course there are um, Liverpool have started the game with some really good chances, so we've just got to be a bit mindful. Uh, I'd be disappointed if we concede. Of course, look, the chemistry of a lot of these players is such that um, we're going to have to uh, just slowly um, understand that it's going to be a slow process. A lot of these players are transfer lists as well, so they might be a bit upset. But did you see that David Luiz passed to Saka? Nearly got him away. And that's what I like about him. I don't really want to sell David Luiz. I like him. But, of course, I just wanted to show uh, the Super Heavyweight fans and the PES 2021 fans, or PES fans in general, that when you do do your Mars League, you could actually um, end up uh, putting together a really good team. And again, Mane has hit the uh, uh, post. I mean, every time they shoot, they look like they're going to score, which is worrying signs for me, because they look like the Liverpool of old. Uh, Leno in goal has done really well what I might do is uh, I just might make Ghana Idrissa Ghana gay um, a defensive midfielder and I'll probably put Ozil in centre midfield just for now 
um, just so that we can try and um, give everybody a go. Fabra's been very quiet as well. And um, what I'd probably do is see if I can just give him a little touch of the ball because I don't think he's had one. And of course, when you bring in new players, what tends to happen is um, they would take a while to settle down. But that's not the pass that we wanted. Saka coming in field, which then creates a lot of the space. Buster's coming along. And again, that speed will allow us to have a very good outlet. Of course, we have that with um, um, uh, Bellerine, sorry. Uh, just trying to see if I can get the name out there. But again, we've had a good start. Very happy. Oh, gay. Good ball there to uh, Saka. But Liverpool seem to be all over us. So we've just got to be very careful. That's too easy. And they've scored. I mean, literally one touch passing. Left the midfield. Uh, that's something we have to try and uh, be aware of. It was just um, one pass has literally opened up everybody, uh, which is not what we're Maradona is not very happy. Of course, the club are going through a transition, so uh, don't judge us on this one game, uh, which so far hasn't been very good. Um, a lot of new players coming in, but uh, there, they won the ball back. One pass there for Mino. One touch. Everybody, the centre backs are all over the place, and that is an area that I wanted to improve as well. Um, but uh, just felt that um, maybe we could have stayed slightly. Deep. I'm just trying to think what the tactics are whether they're um, a high press. I, I know Arteta likes to play that Manchester City style, which uh, probably doesn't really work for me. Uh, I've tried that with the Barcelona and Manchester City Mask League, but um, I've just got to be patient. So far, they've had a lot of the ball. David Lewis plays that ball down there, which gives us a lot of those options. Okay. Neto Ozil has been very quiet so far. Need him to get into the game. It's good football there. Bustos with the ball over the top. Can we get it? Not quite, but good idea. The youngster, I think, would be a really good addition. So Bustos, the right back, uh, do check him out and probably look to sign him for your um, uh, Marcy. Along with Nubal, I think could be two really good young signings. So of course, um, that's one we'll do. Bernadeschi hasn't had a good game either so far. Of course, at a new club. Oops, got to be very careful here. And already a game too easy uh, to get through. But we're still in the game thanks to Bert you know, of course. An 86 goalkeeper uh, with an overall rating of that. You just wouldn't sell him. But uh, I think we did eventually uh, get down to defending um, that particular area. And maybe we'll take off Fabra for um, uh, sorry, Saka. Maybe move him as a left back. Ooh. Poor defending there. Louis really should have got rid of that. And again, Sadio Mane um, gets on the end of that. That's a poor goal to give away. Uh, not really what we wanted. But of course, um, these are times to bring in lots of new players. So we're going to go through the process. But I am very confident that this will turn out to be a very successful season. Um, again, the header there really should have headed that out, uh, tried to control it and of course Mane has managed to get in there so um, there, oh he's a handball definitely, VAR where are you when we need you, off the shoulder which would um, be something that would be there in terms of VAR looking into that but uh, so far we have been overwhelmed That's a good uh, option. Oh, couldn't quite get it down. But, um, I mean, Messi Ozil has gone to Fenerbahce. And he's doing really well there. So, of course, um, I think that Arsenal have bought in Odegaard. Who is also a very good player to replace um, Messi Ozil. But 
or have used the youngster uh, Emil Smith Rowe, who I think is a really good player. I've seen very impressed. But you had a proven winner at the club. I thought at least give him a goal. But look, each manager has a different way of doing things. Like for example, some of you would probably think, well, why am I doing what I'm doing? Uh, you may not necessarily do that. Of course, uh, it's just your own ideas. But what I always say is that whatever you do, as long as you are happy with the decision making and they're your decisions, then should things not go your way, at least you can turn around and say, well, look, I did it my way, didn't quite work out. And the next time you have the opportunity, should you have the opportunity, you try and uh, make sure that um, you can um, try and address that. But again, first time we get a chance get that ball out there to Saka again trying to play in um, Aubameyang has been extremely quiet Bustos giving us a lot of that option it's a good ball in there to Bernadeschi oh and Aubameyang great football there Bernadeschi with a lovely pass there to Saka and we've managed to get a goal back uh, uh, completely against the runner play I must admit of course, that's what Aubameyang gives you, goals. Um, and you can never have too many goal scorers. So, Bust Bustas has really given us a lot of space. I mean, that's a great pass there by um, Bernadeschi to Saka. And again, Saka, I can't praise him enough. What a player. Um, with a lovely, delicate pass there to uh, Aubameyang. And gets it out of his feet just... I've used the finesse pass, uh, finesse shot there, which is R2 on the PlayStation. But look, that gives me great confidence to show that this team um, does have the potential. Uh, if you can score against the champions Liverpool, um, and it's still one goal in it, so I'm just got to hang in there for now. Just keep plugging away and staying in the game. I think uh, we will have a good chance. Partey. Oh, we didn't give the goal away. Oh, no. It's not got our way. Uh, that's a poor goal to give away again. But, um... Muhammad Salah, I'm not sure what kind of uh, celebration that is. But, um... We just scored the goal. I thought we could go into the half. One goal down. But we're back to two. Oh, that's so frustrating. Diego Maradona is livid. Um, Liverpool players recognise how important this goal was. Um, because the man, so this is the ball um, I couldn't quite get the header in oh, it's just hit Bernadeschi come back in and again um, Gabriel I don't want to say he's at fault because that's two centre backs with two mistakes probably just got to get it out but it's just the ricochet back off um, um, uh, Bernadeschi and then of course um Hey, was uh, Firmini offside? I'm not sure. But um, that hasn't worked out quite well. But look, there's promising signs for us. Uh, defensively, of course, we haven't actually had the chance to bring in the two centre-backs that I wanted. So, of course, that's an area we will be addressing. Um, but there's lots of players that we do aim to bring in. And I think that will actually help us. So, of course, um, Liverpool have been completely dominant. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just continue with the same team for now and then I'll bring on some substitutes towards uh, the latter part of the game. Fabra, he actually looks a really good player, I have to say. Passing could be improved though, but... Uh, oh, that's too easy. Um, then you give a goal away. But Bustos, I have to say, good pace there. Defensively, I think he could improve, but it's early days. Very young as well. And of course, we've got the two South Americans. Favreau. Looking for options. Gay. He moved from him. Bustos has given us a lot of options. Bernadeschi probably gets a chance to run. Looking for options. That's it, Ozil. Oh, he's just tackled there. The centre-backs have covered the area. Good defending. Liverpool bringing players forward. Again, very good movement. P 
party. Good ball down there. Good run there by Bernadeschi. And Obama with a first time shot. Not quite. Great ball there uh, by party to the run of Bernadeschi. There are some promising signs that we must take the positives from this game. Um, good run there by Bernadeschi, of course. Him and Pepe buying for that spot. And then Obama with a first time shot. Um, shows how dangerous. So what I'm going to do is make the substitutions now. So I'm going to bring the keeper on. Uh, Nubo for his debut. Clivert will probably come on for Messi Ozil. And I'll probably put Saka as the centre midfielder. Uh, so Clivert is actually 80. Alright, sorry I thought it was 78. But Guendouzi can come on for Partey as a centre midfielder. I'll move Gay there as a centre midfielder as well. And I think Aubameyang to come off oh you're only allowed three substitutes I think I've made my substitute so the goalkeeper Gwen Doozy uh, unfortunately Pepe doesn't get the chance to come off I thought you'd probably be allowed to do more but it's okay um, so we can bring in some of our players so the keeper to make his debut Cliver um, Patrick Cliver's son from Ajax to Roma I'm not sure how well it worked out for him in Roma but he's on the game as a free transfer so Probably have to do a bit of research to find out where he is. Oh, nearly gets there. But gay. There to Clivert. Oh, good ball there to Aubameyang. With the shot. Not quite. Oh, look. We've got to be careful because that's just completely opened up. With the uh, Mane. Takes the shot there. And that's a good uh, save there by Lubal. Gets the ball out of his feet. Uh, wouldn't expect anything less from a German goalkeeper to be good with his feet. Uh, gotta be careful here, Saka. Giving the ball away. I was actually looking for Fabra there. I just find there's too much of a gap between the centre backs whenever we lose it, so that's something we have to probably work on. But Gay. Okay. Oh, not quite. Can okay, Bernadeschi. Oh, not quite. I was trying to play that ball over the top. But uh, on his weaker foot. But he's done quite well to be honest. And um, Marnie has been really dangerous. Oh that's too easy. Um, defensively we need to sort things out. But again Firmino 4-1. Not the, the result that we wanted. Um, but nonetheless. Uh, there's promising signs for me moving forward. Of course I don't expect to win the league. But I do expect to get in the Champions League position. So, of course, Mane. I thought we had it there. Again, defenders getting in each other's way. And to be fair, that's a fantastic finish. The keeper had no choice. No chance, sorry. But um, a, a tough game against Liverpool. But this is the standard that you expect. I thought we'd done everything. But the two defenders, unfortunately, got in each other's way again. And that's been the, the, the story of the game. Um, and of course when you have the calibre of players that Liverpool do have they are going to um, end up punishing you but I think what we've got to do is take the positives a lot of the new players have settled in oh, Fabra's away that's where we want him to be uh, pushing up getting forward again not the best pass Gabriel and Luis absolutely been smashed. Uh, five. <laughs> Every time Liverpool look like they're going to attack, they look like they're going to score. Uh, now it's just a case of uh, get the game over with as quick as possible. Uh, I don't think the keeper should be too disappointed. I think he had no chance with that. But just too much space between the centre-backs. And of course... Um, not being able to, but of course, look when you've got a new right back and a new left back, it is going to take time to try and um, get everyone back in there. And of course, um, even though what they offer offensively, I just think um, that's something uh, we need to work on. Um, but there are some really good signs with players such as Obama and Saka. Maybe this might be the game where uh, you know, clubs will come in 
Alexander's going off for, I believe, Gomez. What a player. Again, very disappointed that England dropped him.